to do that. David, you want to tell them how this happened? How this happens? Yeah. They're going to have a fun time towing it. All right, David. Where should we go? It's awesome you say this. You told me why it's going to go. <laughs> this is what you get when you come down to downtown Albany to work. This is what they do. How many tickets did you have? $1,000 for tickets. Did you know the woman? Did I know the, the woman? What was the woman that was ticketing you? No, well, there's there's been a couple of them that have been coming in and out, but basically they all know that we've been working here. We've been working here for five months. Same place, same building, leaving notes on the, on the windows that we're working in here. It's very difficult to come out six floors to come down every two hours to put change into the machine. It's not like we're here shopping or doing anything else. We're here working, trying to better the downtown area. This is a burnt out building and we're trying to make this building look better for downtown Albany. And in exchange for that, I get a boot on my truck because I can't make it down to fill the meters up with quarters for the city of Albany. This is what I get. So does everybody in Albany get ticketed like no, this? No, everybody doesn't get ticketed like this. Um, what's her name? Tobin? She doesn't get ticketed like this. If you're a friend of the city hall, you don't get ticketed like this. If you're a friend of the city, they give you what they call a ghost ticket. Yeah. Which just... means they put a ticket underneath there and it has no writing on it. It says nothing on it. So you don't have to pay a fine because you're a friend of the city. I, <laughs> obviously, am not a friend of the city. So I can't get this ghost ticket as opposed to getting regular tickets and running up a bill and then having them come put this on. I wonder if Tobin's got one of these on her car. She's got about 200 tickets. They know how many tickets, but they don't know how much. Okay. Figure that one out. So she pays hers, will you pay yours? If she pays hers, I'll pay mine. Unfortunately, I have kids to feed and men to pay, and I need my truck in order to work. I have work to do. Not all of us get awarded a job to sit in an office and do absolutely nothing. We don't get that. So the rest of us out here, poor souls, got to go to work every day and deal with this.